Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Promise Neverland season 2 episode number uh, 4. Yeah, this is 4. Alright, so um, the previous episode uh, we kind of got a little bit of like uh, some kind of revelations about Sonju and Mujika. Now here's the thing, like I'm still not sure about Sonju but I think Mujika is probably someone who is um, like who's one of the good guys and obviously uh, my suspicion of sonju is because of the things that he said in the previous episode which we still do not know what he actually wants to do like how he managed like is planning to like uh, carry that out and like what he is like i don't know like what the end result is we still don't know so i'm still like uh, not sure about him like he's suspicious and his like uh, agenda is suspicious as well but I don't know like they're still kind of allies so we'll see let's see and like what actually happens uh, regarding them and uh, that was uh, like the first portion of this uh, uh, like episode but the later portion of the episode came the surprise now the surprise here is like we are not sure if like Minerva is good or bad what uh, he actually wants now that was a surprise because obviously up until now we had we're under this impression that uh, Minerva is the person who would help them who would be kind of the like I don't know problem solver for them but like coming like in the last part of the episode after seeing that like scribbling in the um, walls of the rooms uh, I'm not sure about what's going to happen so let's see like uh, I don't know like what to expect from this show. So anyways without further ado, um, let's get started uh, with Promise Neverland um, season uh, 2 episode number 4. Also another thing uh, that is like you might like hear uh, Weird noises outside that's the construction going on and it's being a nuisance from the like I don't know from like the uh, Start of the day. So like please forgive me like I am unable to do anything about that So anyways, um Let's get started right i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right so here's the countdown three two one go okay let's see like this uh, this is a show that kind of surprises me like every one of us like in weird ways so it just let's let's see what actually is the like deal with minerva because we kind of like thought that like no one said anything like kind of under we're under the impression that minerva was the good guy but there's no proof of that like he's just a guy who kept his like secret codes in the orphanage that doesn't like translate into that yeah he's a good guy he might have some other kind of plan some other kind of a goal like who knows so let's just see Okay. Here we go. The phone call. <laughs> okay. Is this some kind of a yeah recording? James Rathri. Oh. Okay.
Okay, so uh, uh, all right, so Okay, but what's this about? Oh, these are the names. Oh. oh, another coordinate. I doubt that. Like, I don't know. Like, I have a bad feeling about the people. Okay, so what was that about? Like, the scribblings. Was this... Was that some kind of a... Oh, I'm guessing those were the names of the other, like, refugees who came here before. Yeah, 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 okay, okay. Okay, okay, so Mirva is a good guy, all right. <laughs> I was a bit suspicious of him, but okay, he seems like an okay guy. Future. Okay. Hmm. All right. Yeah, you need a base of operations. Okay, yeah, that's another thing. Okay. Oh, food. <laughs> Damn. Oh, she's writing a diary? Okay, so this, it seems like they are probably safe here. I was freaking out a bit too much before, but it seems they're fine. And wow, they have even like yeah, they also need to like need an active way of getting more food because obviously, like uh, otherwise the stored food will all end. So what to do then? They need a, like uh, an active way to gather things and gather resources, food and everything. One thing I'm really like surprised is the electricity is like still ongoing. Like, where is it that coming from? Like, is there some kind of generator, like solar powered generator or something? Oh, got it. Mm -hmm. So he'll be the marksman of this team. <laughs> Future marksman. Okay. Okay, everything's a bit too happy. I don't know what to feel about that, but... Okay. Um oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh 
Yeah, meat. Some kind of rabbit or something. Oh, he's the marksman. Because he's the marksman. Yeah. He's the sniper of this team. <laughs> okay, I need to remember their names. Dominic, okay, I remember, but I've mixed up the two. Thoma and what did they say? Okay, that's more birds. Uh. <laughs> no meat. Oh, fish. Oh, he caught a fish by hand. Wait, what the hell? Yeah, look. What? Okay. Yeah, these are weird mutated things. Weird mutated fishes. Ugh. Oh, it's kind of <laughs> the fish is like sounding sounding like frogs. Wait, what? As acidic? Oh, I, I thought that was litmus paper. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um Oh Okay Um one, one of you is enough No need for both of them to do <laughs> Um Okay Is this going to be some kind of uh, like Shokugeki no Soma moment? Like they'll get some kind of food gasm or something? Okay, let's see. Okay. Mm. No, it's okay then. I think so. <laughs> they even have tubs. Wait, what? 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 Okay. All right. <laughs> Okay, so they can like hmm. Okay Yeah, they have to like keep an eye on the shipments as well Wait a minute Ooh. So freaking dark. Wait, is she is, is she imprisoned? Wait, so who is Is this some kind of a recording as well?
Oh my god, this is what I was fearing. This is one thing that I was fearing about, like Isabella being somehow like held prisoner or something. So they'll like lay some kind of trap or bait and like and like <laughs> yeah like they'll like lay some kind of trap and like bring the kids there and trap them oh my god Oh, wait, what? What the? Oh my god, the electricity went out. There's some kind of a generator which they blew out. What the? They have guns with them? Oh, still hot. So these are humans. Okay, they're in the like secret compartment. Mm. Excuse me. They're humans. Yeah. Oh my god. No choice, like... Oh, is anyone missing? Oh my god. Oh, those two! Oh no, Dawn and Rossi, okay. Oh my god, yeah. Wait a minute. Oh my god, no, please, look. I hope nothing happens to her, like, what the hell? Oh. Okay, run. Um, quick. Oh. All right. Come on. Okay, run. But they have guns. That's a bit of a problem. I doubt they'll kill them, but they might probably wound their legs or something. They like shoot their legs. Yeah. I really hope no one is like laying a trap and waiting for them there. Oh! Um I 
I knew that, like, they knew that. Okay. Oh, so, so there's another one. Oh, damn. Okay, run. Oh. <laughs> All right. Okay, no one's here. Oh my god, yeah, this is a... Oh! Oh no! They were waiting for them. What the? Jesus, what the? What is that? What the hell? Uh, okay. Yeah, like what? Uh. Oh. Oh my god, I really don't want Okay. Oh. Yeah. To the humans? What? Ray? Like, is, is, are they saying that they're going to release Ray as well? Because I think that's the only thing that might, like, make her help them. Because Ray is her child. I think it was something regarding Ray. I don't know, it's just a guess. Oh my god. Okay, now Sonju and Mujika is the only hope left for them to survive this situation. Oh my god. Ugh. Alright, well, that went in a really bad direction in just one episode. Like, I was kind of, uh, sus like, I was just kind of suspicious about Minerva, but it turns out, like, there was nothing to be suspicious about. But, anyways, problems still came, so, uh, I don't know, um... Okay, so, so no, that was like a weird monster, like, I think that's the first time we've seen something like that, like that huge, uh, weird spider-like monster, like, um, <laughs> that was like a titan, like, what's a titan doing in Promised Neverland? <laughs> oh my god. Alright, it's the end. Let's see if there's some kind of...
Nope. All right, so that's the end. Um, okay, so this was episode number four of Promised Neverland. Now, I don't know, like, um, what, what Isabella is going to do now. Because obviously one thing, I don't know, like, uh, like the way it, uh, like, went is, like, first of all, when, like, we saw Isabella for the first time, in this episode, mm, excuse me, uh, we saw her, like, uh, like, when they were, like, asking him, uh, her about, uh, the children, uh, she was kind of, uh, like, uh, like, kind of defiant about the whole situation, and she was saying that they'll be able to run away. And uh, so, obviously, at least I think that she wants the best for the children, like now, after like season one. But uh, after they were like uh, planning to kill her, and then they said that, um, okay, like we'll give you a chance. Um, we'll like uh, let you go away from this place, remove the like uh, that thing from your heart, and you'll get freedom. You can go to the human settlements you can do whatever the hell you like if you bring them back now like if you guys can remember like isabella's main motivation for like doing all of these things were freedom like she wanted to survive she wanted to survive this whole situation so that was the reason why she did all of these things so because like the uh the, like demons kind of like uh, brought that up and said that yeah we'll give you the freedom that you wanted so so much it kind of like made isabella interested in what they had to say so she like she was kind of listening to them and like at that time uh, i was thinking like maybe isabella is just pretending to listen to them and after like uh like they like after isabella is released from this prison they, like Isabella might try to like go uh, meet up with the children and help them maybe I was thinking because uh, like Isabella really loves them like that is one thing that I like like we all realize after season one really loved the children as her own ch like child children and like at that time I was kind of thinking that but then like they came and like whispered something in her ear which uh i don't know which in my guess is something regarding ray i don't know like it's just something that i think because like uh as far as we have seen isabella there's like only two things that can kind of move her that is like her own freedom and something regarding her own child that is ray i don't know like at least i think so I don't think there will be anything much more uh, important to Isabella than Ray, but um, I don't know. This is just uh, like a guess, and because obviously after like that, uh, like like demon like whispered something in her ear, she completely like changed, and her like eyes were like full of determination, and she said that she said that okay, I'll do my best, I'll do my job. Uh, uh, like before that like she was still kind of skeptical about the whole situation now like there's another theory which i think is really something too much and i doubt that is going to happen like it is like a 0.0001 percent chance and that is this is just something that i thought about maybe <laughs> Like, I know this is weird, but maybe the demon that kind of, like, said something to Isabella, maybe he is one of the good guys. Just think about it. Maybe, like, he went to Isabella's ears and said something about, like, okay, you do this, and, like, I'm, like, in your side, and I'll, like, uh, help the children, or something like that. Maybe that was the reason why, like, Isabella suddenly, like, found her determination, and, like, her face completely changed. Now, I know this is, like, uh, this is something that I made up and this is really, uh, like, has almost no chance of coming, uh, like, uh, of being real. But I kind of thought, like, maybe if it, like, went in that direction because obviously, like, Promise to Neverland loves its twists and turns. So, I really won't be surprised if something like this, like, comes out. <laughs> I don't know. But uh, I doubt that's going to happen because obviously, like these demons were um, waiting for the like good like um, the like merchandise uh, children and their brain, 
and I doubt they are like something like this like that demon said something like that to Isabel uh, I think it's like the, the most uh, chance of what the, he said to Isabella was uh, uh, something regarding Ray maybe because I think that's the only thing that kind kind of convinced Isabella to do something because Ray is her own child so who knows uh, I don't know Um, okay, so that and um, okay, the whole thing about like uh, suspicion about Minerva was kind of cleared because obviously like uh, the like scribbling in the walls was I think uh, something that the other children who came here did uh, so that um, like so that they can I don't know like leave some kind of uh, like some kind of a memory or something. Uh, in there because uh, I don't know like they also kind of said that uh, like the other children kind of said that uh, like we like we hope that they went out like they like uh, get got out of the situation uh, safely and so I don't know like they're probably fine or maybe are they are not fine I don't know like who knows but at least uh, Minerva turned out uh, to be a good guy really I hope so like I don't want any more twists coming in because uh, like I can also kind of think a few other situations a few other scenarios where even though it is it seems as if Minerva is a good guy like he might be a bad guy like, I can kind of think a lot of scenarios like this but I doubt those will happen because it's kind of like far-fetched things and I'm not going to like say them here but still like uh, at least uh, up until now, uh, like I was had my suspicions on Minerva, but it kind of went away. And I think like he is saying something that he really means. And um, that was a recording. Uh, like so, I really don't know if Minerva is even alive or not. Like who knows? Maybe he just like kept this like this, and uh, maybe like he is not in this world anymore, and he just. Uh, like keeps a recorded like te telephone or like, recorded like number which uh, they after they call uh, the same uh, recording will play over and over again and children like uh, Emma and uh, Ray and all of the other children children like them come comes here now and then uh, like rests for a few days and maybe they like try to get out of this uh, forest so Maybe it's just like some kind of uh, like a safe point for them, like just for them to come and rest and then go away. So, anyways, um, okay, that and okay. So one thing uh, I'm really not sure about is how they were able to like track them. Now, one thing like they can like track them only through one way that is through the like radio transmission like when they were like doing like trying tapping into that frequency uh, they were always hearing the recorded voice of isabella so maybe it was also kind of tracking them through the signals as to where they are currently so <clears throat> i think that is the only way the people from the orphanage found out where they are situated so yeah i think that's the only way and so like here we are like n no other choice but to like run to mujika and sonju and uh, like i really hope they find it like they like run into them again uh, because obviously like they're running for their lives in the like forest uh, where who knows what else is like uh, sleeping like I don't know like maybe some kind of a demon dog is sleeping and if they like somehow run into them oh my god it's over so like there's like a big huge titan uh, like following them and who the who hell like who knows what the hell is even like uh, in this forest in like at night so yeah like i really hope that they like run into mujik and sonju as fast as possible because obviously uh, they're like the only choice here like no other choice so yeah oh and also another thing uh, i kind of remembered is like the demon kind of saying that uh if this operation fails then you live like get to live 
so this operation but this operation i mean i think they meant uh, about the whole thing with like uh, the humans uh, that they sent for them to go and capture the children but the humans are dead like they have been eaten by that huge monsters so like operation has failed i think so isabella will live and uh, but i'm not sure about uh, like like what she is actually planning to do like she seemed pretty determined about uh, capturing the children but who knows maybe she's faking it or i don't know just let's just see because um yeah like i kind of really like uh like i think like isabella was like one of the best characters in like season one at least for me like a, a lot of people hated isabella but i really liked her because she was uh i don't know like she was a person who was a, a really misunderstood person and uh she like, she made a lot of mistakes like she's not a bad person she is a person who made a lot of mistakes and uh, the whole thing with her own childhood like uh, where uh, when the person that she liked kind of like was shipped off as well that whole situation i cannot remember his name the guy who like played that instrument and isabella used to listen and that and all of the other things like everything in her life was uh like was were kind of mistakes that he made she made and i think uh in the end of season one she kind of understood all of it and that's the reason why like she gave up all the whole situation and let the children like run away because she could have like uh tried to pursue them but she did not she even like uh like, took off the things that were like uh, they used to like run away those like uh like those rope kind of things makeshift rope kind of thing like she even like took it off just, just so that like um like no clue is left so in that way she kind of helped them also so i i hope that like i think like she has changed but i don't know like after this episode she seemed pretty determined enough to like bring them back which i don't know which uh, is if it is something that she is faking or if it is really something that she wants to do because there is some kind of interest uh, of her in that as well because of the thing that the demon like whispered in her ears so yeah like who knows so yeah as i was saying so like i really liked isabella because of that like she is a character that is quite misunderstood so i i really was not like uh like when they were like going to like it was seeming as if they were going to kill her off like i really did not want that so i'm happy that she is getting a few more days and um to survive and maybe she will be able to survive this whole situation uh, the hope <laughs> like yeah like that's the only thing that we can like think about like i can think about like it's like a hope given to us like yeah isabella might like uh be okay but still like that uh, depends on what she does after this so like it's a weird situation like uh like i don't want isabella to die but at the same time i really don't want her to like go after the children again so yeah it's kind of conflicted a uh, conflicted situation so who knows maybe uh, they will be able to find some kind of a middle ground maybe isabella will think of something or maybe the children will think of something and try to like trick the demons somehow who knows and yeah but well i'm happy that isabella is alive because this show like you cannot like like you don't know who they might kill off like in which episode so it's kind of scary because of that <laughs> so all right and what else um yeah that was it and they kind of like did some kind of a little bit of training um dominic his name yeah his name is dominic dominic kind of like uh did like is able to like you like shoot arrows so well so that's kind of a plus point and but i i don't know like like this is this show really like um like i don't know like you cannot expect what to, what will happen next because they can kill off any person like any any one of them just like that so that's like a really um concerning thing so like you you don't know which person uh you might not be able to see after this episode like uh, 
<laughs> I don't know. Like that's one. Uh, that's one of the big concerns. Like uh, this is one show that really does that. Like you really do not exp know like who will die in which episode. Uh, and Attack on Titan is another such like show. Like you, you really do not know. Like uh, no. Like for example, the person who we really like or who is like. Uh, in this episode might not be in the next episode he he or she might die in the next episode like that's the whole thing with uh, promise neverland and attack on titan which <coughs> which is something really concerning <laughs> uh because uh, obviously we are like uh, a, like not a lot of shows does this thing because uh like most of the show are kind of like like not like this because for example like take some other show um dr stone yeah like you like uh, none of none such concern is there that like they might kill some characters off like there's no such concern like that um what else i don't know other shows like all of the others so most of the other shows that we see uh like that like that type of concern is not there but promise neverland and an attack on titan oh my god you really do not know what will happen to the characters and <coughs> There's always this like concern regarding them like might like like and this like uh and you really hope that yeah they are like they are fine at the end of the episode and they are able to like um survive yeah that's the word survive anyways so <coughs> sorry about that all right guys so that was it and uh, that was uh this episode and uh, this was episode number four of promise neverland season two so if you guys enjoyed my reaction, press the like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed, uh, consider doing so. Comment down below anything you want to say uh, about this episode or anything in general, I'll be sure to check them out. So yeah guys, um, I'll be back with another episode of Promise Neverland uh, next week, same time. So until then, goodbye and have a nice day.